Morning. I'm about to go to the barn and uh, work on some stuff, but I'm just going to show you what I did yesterday afternoon. And it doesn't seem like much, but uh, I got my cable ran. It was uh, it was a chore. It was about an hour job that turned into about a five, maybe five or more hour job. <laughs> I had to uh, take this panel up off the ground. Um, obviously, this had to come out. I got my switch there. That was the whole point, was to have that switch. And so I had to take this panel up off the ground, off. And I had to snake a cable from underneath that up into here. And then I had to run a cable to the battery which is under here and uh, it was it was just harder than took longer than I thought I thought I had it right I had two wires going up there because I need a, a wire to the switch and then from the switch back to the battery I had it all done and then I had the wrong two wires I had one I needed and one I didn't so I had to re-snake it and that was a challenge and then just figuring out what to take apart to get to where I needed to and props to guys that do that kind of stuff for a living uh, running wires and making it look neat I tried to make it look neat so I'm hooked up um, I'll take that back to the barn soon maybe tomorrow and I can test it <laughs> hopefully it works that would be the that would be a stinker wouldn't it is if uh, you do all that on both the trailer the sprayer and the machine and it doesn't work so we'll find out all right back at the barn so let me show you what I did after I said goodbye my camera was dying, so I was running out of time. I don't think I showed you this. I got this auger out. Um, I haven't done any work on it. That one's, that's pretty rough, but hopefully I can straighten that out without breaking it. Um, so that doesn't really need to come out other than, other than just to do that, to straighten it. So um, I got all these couplers off. These just slide over, and then that's what runs this row unit because it's tied to that one. So, got all those off. So, those are the row units are free in, uh, from each other. Um, I got these off. Uh, this hose connects to the cylinder underneath that lifts each individual unit. So, it is free. I think I'm hoping that I'm not going to need to put those back on because. Uh, I need to get the, there's a pin in that cylinder that, you've seen me do that on the other stripper. <clears throat> I need to get that pin out so that I can, um, we can take these row units off or slide them easier. And I couldn't do that, it's under pressure. The cylinder pin is tight. And so I think that's what I did after I said bye to you. And so now I'm back. What I'm gonna do this morning is, uh, I'm going to try to get the stripper hooked back up to the header because I need to get these stands off to be able to let the header all the way down so that the row units are resting on the ground um, like this one is here. The weight is off that cylinder so that I could get that same deal. I get that pin out and be able to slide the unit better. And so right now the row units are floating like that. So I'm gonna pick it up, be able to get under there better, get those pins, uh, spring, what do you call those, cotter pins, no. The pins that you bend apart like this, I'm gonna bend it back together so I can pull them out uh, easier when I'm underneath there because there's not a lot of room. That requires to do some things. The stripper I think is gonna be okay where it's at here. But this auger, we had to use a chain hoist for something so Got to drag it out of the way. Um, and then obviously the carts and the sprayer in the way. So the sprayer is easy to move by hand. But what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, I'm going to use the skid steer and I'm going to unhook that front trailer and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it where we normally put our camper because the camper is out of the barn because we had a blowout. Um, we went to Red River, New Mexico and it was awesome. It feels way better here. Um, so would recommend, but 
our camper had a blowout and so it caused some damage and it's getting worked on and so for now i think i'm gonna unhook this front trailer and then back it in over there and then pull these two up out of the way so that they're out of the way for hooking up the stripper Not my best, it, that cart is full and heavy. Trying to push it up that uh, lip was a little bit of a challenge. So just gotta move uh, the sprayer. Where can it go? Maybe, maybe I can sneak it through there, hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe sideways here will work. That should work. I don't know if I showed you. There, I came and there was a big oily spot here. Um, so that tank was in here and it's supposed to be some, it's some kind of oil that you, if you're in green cotton, I think, uh, you can spray that and it's supposed to help 
with something. I'm not sure. We've never used it. We've never had it. And that tank was, I mean, it's soft. That's a petroleum product in that tank. I guess it was rated for that, but maybe, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't rated for petroleum. So it had seeped out and was leaking here. So dad took that out uh, a while back. So I think everything is uh, unhooked. I'm good to go um, hook up to the sprayer. Got a couple leaks under here I've known about. Water pump leaking right there. And then that is on this drive seal. Stuff that, stuff that we've known needed to replace. Just hadn't got to it yet, but that's what we're working on. So I'm gonna check the oil here and try to hook up to the header by myself. It's a little bit tricky because it's blind. Engine oil is good. With like a combine, you can see a little bit better on um, where you're hooking. But the way the cab is oriented on the stripper, you cannot. So I will just have to get square on the header frame. I've got to get these two studs inside of these right here. Everything should be out of the way. I would imagine. I need to pick it up. Well, I may not be starting this right now. Unless I got a low battery. So, I don't know. Stay tuned. I mean, that's a little low. I don't know if that would show up. On after it's been sitting, so I guess I'll put a charger on it, charger on it, and see what happens. Positive to negative. All right, let's see what I can get. Twelve volt. Blinking. We'll see how long it takes to get it charged. While I wait for that to charge, I'll try again in a little while, I guess. I'm going to take these, um, these are called bonnets off. Uh, some of these are okay shape, but let me try to show you one. Yeah, here's a good example. This is starting to wear just from where all the cotton comes in and so what dad did on his and we're going to do to this one is add this piece there's actually one on the inside just like it but another one of these metal pieces and that puts the wear on the metal instead of this poly because uh metal wears slower than poly but we may need to do some i don't know if he did if i can see where but he did some repair some poly kind of welding repair I don't know if you can see it there because his was doing the same thing so I'm gonna get those bonnets off so we can do that at some point and then maybe the uh, maybe the stripper will start again nothing well I've run out of things to do so I guess I'm gonna go home eat lunch and then I need to weed eat around because I haven't done that that mule job took uh, longer than I anticipated so Emily's parents are coming back in town. They went to Red River with us. They're coming back through. So I'll see them this afternoon. And then I will um, keep this on the charger till then. And hopefully that's the issue. If not, I'll have to figure it out. But thanks for watching. Keep watching. Uh, we're going to be doing, working on this header for a while, doing different things. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you're going to farm, farm it.